All right, so we're gonna prime the skin with the Becca Backlight Primer and the Model Rock Beauty Sponge. Now when you're contouring, you want the skin really quite hydrated so no products stick to the skin, to any dry areas. And this one does hydrate the skin really nicely because you don't want your products grabbing to your skin and looking like mud. So we're going to pop on some liquid foundation first and then we'll start contouring with our two techniques. So we're going to use the Aqua Luminous in the shade Fair which is also a really nice hydrating So distribute the foundation evenly around your face and then start to blend. Alright, so now that we have a base to work off of, we're going to do one side with creams and then one side with powder. Now, powders are great for people with oily skin that want a bit more of a subtle effect and creams are great for full glam, really making the skin flawless, airbrushed looking and really carving out any areas of the face that you want. Okay, now before you just go watching any videos and doing what exactly what you saw on the video, you want to have a look what does your face need. So if you have a small forehead, you want to keep that light and bright to open it up and make it appear larger. If you have a large forehead, you may want to run then the bronzer around the perimeter to try and make the gap look smaller. If you have a large nose, you don't want to highlight it and make it bigger. If you have high cheekbones, then carving them out and putting highlighter on them is only going to make you appear gaunt. Now if you have a really strong square jawline, you don't want to carve that area out because it's only going to make you look more triangular in the face. So you need to look in the mirror and we all know our face the best. So you want to look at it yourself and have a look where you need contouring. You don't have to do the full contouring regime that you saw on Instagram and using your kitchen utensils and things. So we're going to do the basic areas. Now, all right, so Lucy's got quite a round face. She doesn't have extreme cheekbones or a really strong jaw. She's got quite a normal sized forehead so there's nothing that we really have to correct as such but we could elongate her face a little bit more so we're going to keep the forehead nice and clear to leave that really open then by bringing in the cheekbones that's going to elongate the face and create a bit of a length there also when we bring the bronzer slightly under the face that will under the jawline that will help to create that as well so the two creams I'm going to be using are the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain and, oh, and in the shade Beautiful Bronze. We're going to go in with the Beautiful Bronze first. Now you also want to follow the natural hollows of your face. You don't want to be creating anything that's not there. And be careful where you put it. So Lucy's cheekbone rounds off here and then comes in through here. So this is where we want to put that area because that's where our contour sits that's where our bronzer sits that's where our highlighter sits and our blush runs up through here we have a natural another natural hollow of the face here where we can create a bit more shape so we can add some low low light there like i said we're going to keep the forehead nice and open though we can bring lucy's nose in slightly through here just to create that, make that slightly narrow, narrower, again, elongating the face. So I don't tend to like to use this darker concealer straight onto the face because I can't control how much product that I'm dumping on there. So with a nice dense 
brush, synthetic hair, anything will really do. We're just going to go in, just turn it slightly more that way. Bring that down here into that hollow area. And then some under the. Now you want to make sure that you drop it right under the jawline because if you put it on the jawline, it could potentially look like a beard. And we do not want that. So I'm going to go back in with the beauty sponge because this is a cream product. And we're really going to buff that off. We want to drag the product down if anything. We don't want to pull it up too high and encroach on that highlight area. And you can just slightly connect those two up so that it looks like a seamless blend. You really can see that's really diffused off there now. Go in now slightly with just a tiniest little bit for our nose contour. Now you want to be quite careful because you can actually make your nose look bent if you don't do this correctly. So we're just going to run it slightly down the bridge. Because the, the further out on the nose that you put it, the wider the nose will look. So if you want to create a narrowed effect, you want to put it up right where the, that nose starts to drop off. And then flick it down from there. Alright, now it's going to look slightly bent because we are only doing one side with this. And then you just, again with your sponge, make sure that that's really diffused off. Because you don't want it to actually look like you've got makeup on there, it's just like it's casting a shadow over your nose. Know. Alright, so now we're going to go in with our highlight colour. And we're going to look at where the high points of the face are. Alright, so the, the darker colours almost map that out for us. So you're coming in through here, across your high point here, then we're going to clean up under here, then we're going to bring it down the centre of the nose. So we're going to brighten up our under eye area while we're here. So you can see that area that we're highlighting now, if you want to. So we're going to come up through here. Bring out the, the brow bone. Then we're also going to clean up this area through here. Just fluff that edge off. Bring it up to meet that high point. Then we've got our sponge again and we do exactly the same thing. And if you bounce the sponge, you can be a little bit firmer than when you were putting in the on the foundation. And we're just going to blend that. All in.
Right now, because we've used creams, creams move on the skin a lot, so we need to go back and make sure we go over and we set that. Now, depending on what look you want, if you want to keep that really strong, you could set it with the two toned powders. So you could go in with your contour powder, your highlight powder, and all the rest of it, and that will really bring that out more. Because we have a subtle eye look today, and I want this to be quite wearable, we're just going to go in with some translucent powder. So you're just pressing it into the skin. Now this is a translucent, so it's not going to affect the colour of what we've just done. But if you don't set a cream with a powder, it will definitely, even if you are on the drier side, this type of cream will definitely slide all over your face if you don't set it in some way. Now, I think that's a very wearable way of doing it. With this type, with Lucy's face shape, you wouldn't want to highlight the chin area too much because it will bring her jaw line out. So we want to keep that nice and soft and diffused and also be very careful doing the lip area, which you may see on a lot of um, videos and things, but you can draw attention to that and make your look, lip look quite hairy. So I'll be there, there are areas that I tend to stay away from because they may photograph really well, but as far as in real life wearing, going out and whatnot, can be a bit of a danger area. All right, so we're gonna use the mineral powders from Becca. So for the contour shade, we're gonna use Noisette. And for the highlight shade, we're gonna use Porcelain. With Noisette first. Now, I'm using a brush that's slightly flatter and gonna rest in the hollow of her cheek. And we're gonna try and mimic the same placement that is on the other side. Now the same concept, lay the product down first and then buff it off. Then bring it up into the hollow. And then down below the jawline. Now I'm blending it, I'm going to blend out using the same brush. So we're going to go and do the same thing. So now we go in with our porcelain shade and a clean brush. Now obviously Lucy has really already quite fair skin, so with powder you're only going to get going to get a certain amount of highlight from it. Now I'm just going to go in with a much sharper brush.
Now if you wanted to make that look a lot stronger you could use a setting powder. So now we're going to go in and highlight with a shimmer product. This is the pressed shimmering skin perfecter that we did the, on the brow bone. Then we're going to go in with our blush. Now we want to place this. We want to place this on the apple, the outside of the apple of the cheek, and blend slightly into our contour and highlight. Now this is a very strong brush. Blush, sorry. So we're just going to really use a fluffy, very light fluffy brush. And a super gentle touch. And fluff that into our contour and highlight. If you're struggling to find that sweet spot, just give yourself a big smile in the in the mirror and you'll see that just fall straight slightly off the highest part of the cheekbone and blend out from there. That's a foolproof method, method of finding the right spot to put your blush. So we're just going to pop some lip glaze on the lips. This is LA Girl Lip Paint in the shade Elude. Alright, so there we go, a very wearable highlight, two different techniques, perfectly suited for her face shape. It's also going to look great in photos as well. Perfect selfie makeup. Alright, well I hope you guys learnt something from that and contouring isn't quite as scary as what it looks on Instagram. No kitchen utensils or post-it notes needed.